Countries around the world have promised gender equality by 2030. But in 2019, a new index showed that even the most advanced nations weren't doing enough to reach that goal. But where are the bright spots? As the year draws to a close, we take a look at which women manage first in their field. And here's a list of 10 from around the world. In October, U.S. astronauts Christina Cook and Jessica Meir, a team of two women from U.S. space agency NASA, were the first all-female team to step into space. Jessica, we'd like you to take it with you en route to the MDM task, and yes, you can touch the with Sub-Lieutenant Fangi became the first woman to fly a plane in India's Navy. The milestone came three years after the country's Air Force recruited its first female pilots. In January, Deb Hallin and Suris Davids were sworn in as lawmakers in the U.S. House of Representatives of First Foreign Natives American Women. Supreme Court Judge Nemat Abdullah Kair was nominated to run the country's judiciary, the first woman to do so in the Muslim African nation. In June, former anti-corruption campaigner and LGBT-friendly lawyer Susanna Kaputova became Slovakia's first female president. Four women, three nuns, and one layperson became counselors in the Office of Synods, which prepares major meetings of world bishops held every few years. Khadija Mela became the first British jockey to compete in a major event wearing a hijab. To top it off, she won the race in what she described as a fairy tale victory. After multiple setbacks, South African Sarai Nkusi Komalo completed the challenge on her fourth attempt and now wants to reach the top of the other seven summits. Jalitza Aparicio became the first indigenous Mexican woman nominated for an Oscar. Aparicio had never acted before she was cast as a domestic worker in the film Roma, and she used her newfound fame as a platform to campaign for workers. Rula Khalaf was named as the next editor of Britain's pink newspaper, the first woman to do so since it was founded in 1888. Khalaf, who was born in Lebanon, has been at the paper for more than 20 years. 